two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I couldn't travel both. And be one traveler long I stood and looked down as far as I could. These are the first few lines of the famous poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Fear, discomfort, uncertainty, these are all words that haunt us. And this often leads us to taking the most safer choices in life, the road most taken. But what we often fail to realize is that some of life's blissful experiences are on the other road, outside our comfort zones. Will Smith once narrates his first sky arriving experience. He couldn't sleep the previous night. He says, as you're next to the open door of a helicopter, 14,000 feet high, and you take a peek down, your heart goes crazy. Your mind begs you to stop and hormones rush through your body. But the moment you jump, you realize what a blissful moment it is. Let me ask you guys a question. How many of you are living a life filled with blissful moments like these? It's a tough question though. From a really young age, we are taught to not take risks, to play it safe. When it comes to career decisions, it's either doctors or engineers, while millions of other opportunities lie ahead of us. In an interesting study on many elderly in their deathbed, when asked what was their life's biggest regret, nearly all of them said that they regret not the things that they did, but the things that they didn't do. The dreams that they didn't pursue, the risks that they didn't take. Let me tell you guys a small story. A real one. When I was in ninth grade, I wanted to do something different, something cool. So I thought, let's not, why not cycle to Ajman? Just 18 kilometers from Sharjah, I could do that, right? I turned to a friend of mine and said, Bro, what do you think if I cycle to Ajman? He burst out laughing. He said I wouldn't even reach there. But guess what? I went for it. That ride inspired me to do more and more of them. And today, I stand in front of you, having cycled to every single emirate in the country. With the last one, Abu Dhabi, being over 320 kilometers in total. Out of the seven emirates, Pujera is the most challenging. Though it lags behind Abu Dhabi when it comes to distance, the mountainous terrain makes you want to work hard to get there. If you ask me, Irfan, what did you learn from your experience cycling across the country? I would say there are two things. First, to never lose hope. There was this moment while we were on our way back from Fujairah. It was the mountainous terrain and a steady climb. And guess what? We even ran out of water. We were so exhausted that we decided to quit. We decided to hitchhike until the nearest grocery store, grab some water and continue the ride. So we stood in the middle of nowhere at 3 a.m. with our hands stretched out. But no one stopped. After about half an hour, a truck driver pulled over. He came out and said that he wouldn't be able to take us on with him, but he gave us two bottles of water and a lot of motivation. And that kept us going. The second and the more interesting lesson is exactly what Elon Musk once said to a group of youngsters. He said, this is a time to take risks. Because you don't have many responsibilities. You don't have kids, you don't have families. But as you grow older, your obligations increase and it gets much harder to do the things that might not work out. So take risks now and you won't regret it. Coming back to the study on the elderly, do you want to reach your deathbed and look back at a life full of regrets? If not, choose the road not taken. Dare discomfort. The last few lines of Robert Frost's poem goes by Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Thank you.